everybody, it's Susan. So you guys are probably wondering what is the box that I was planning to bring back that I did about two years ago. And I am super excited about it. And obviously you guys are able to read in the title which one it is before you even like clicked on it. But whatever, I'm still going to be excited anyways. So the box that's coming back is the Anchor of Hope box. And I, again, just ecstatic about this. So I honestly looked at a lot of boxes before I decided to go back. And I looked at a lot of different ones that came from different countries and stuff like that. And they were either way too expensive or they gave way too little items for the amount that they asked for. I really like this one because it helps people that have gone through human trafficking, vulnerable women, people that have gone to the US for sanctuary, and just so many things like that. And it shows you all these different companies that have these same standards. And that means a lot to me. And I imagine that means a lot to you guys too. So anyways, I am stoked to open this. And I just, I love these new colors. This is so pretty. I, I love the sticker. It's super cute. Look at these colors. Ooh, I love it. So I brought my knife, you know, the one that I used two years ago whenever I opened up these boxes. I figured I should bring this along for the journey. So let's open this up. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my gosh, it takes me back. This is super nostalgia. Okay, so there is the teal paper that I love with the tan heart. And this is always super cute to me. These are some of my favorite colors. I love teal, like my teal curtain, for example, is the exact same color, no joke. So anyways, let's break open the heart. Gives you like a sealed with love kind of feel. Who doesn't love that? Let's see what we got in the box. And so what I'm going to do is more or less I'm going to show off the item. And then I'm going to have it voiced over with the description that's given from the box. So let's begin. The first item is the handmade necklace. This beautiful on-trend necklace is made by women in India. The most dangerous country in the world to be a woman because of pervasive discrimination, sexual violence, and human trafficking. The necklace is made through a fair trade program that works to make an impact on poverty and fight gender inequality. We are especially thinking of our friends in India this month as they struggle through a second COVID-19 shutdown. Man, that's gotta be hard. I can't imagine what that would be like to go through that yet again. It's pretty awesome to be able to help them out with this. This is a super cute necklace. I love the style to it. It's got a nice like trendy tribal look, which I think is super cute. Recycle the silk eye mask. Treat yourself with this luxurious eye mask made from recycled silk. It is made by artisans in Nepal who are working hard to provide economic stability and education for their children and future generations. Artisans in Nepal are disadvantaged by lacking economic infrastructure. This is especially true for rural artisan communities who have limited access to resources like healthcare and global trade. Trading groups like this one provide access to the global economy and other vital resources for growth. The back of the eye mask card reads, This beautiful item you hold was created by artisans in Nepal, changing their lives through their work. Since 1984, Ganesh Himal Trading has partnered with small producers, providing a fair wage and good working conditions. We create stable, well-paying work and long-term relationships to help build healthy families and strong communities. Thanks to you, it's working. Namaste. This is super cozy. Like, I wear a lot of eye masks, and I have a few that kind of have the bubble fixture to it where it kind of leaves room in the eye, so then you're not being directly touched. But I actually prefer the direct touch to the eye. And I think the main reason is, is because it helps keep my eye closed and it helps me focus more on sleeping rather than like, wait a minute, did I do my chores? Did I forget that one sock underneath the dryer? Did I do this? You know, this kind of helps focus you. And the uh, slick inside is actually really cooling and I think that provides a nice relaxing texture. So I really like this and we always need more sleep masks in my house. We always lose ours or need to wash them and stuff like that. So super stoked about this one. 
Lunar Bell Chime. This sweet chime is made with upcycled iron and copper bells by artisans in the desert Kutch region of India. In this region, famous for its traditional handicrafts, many artisan groups are nomadic or semi-nomadic, making them particularly vulnerable to trafficking. Successful fair trade helps artisans find stability and community in the midst of uncertainty. The back of this card says, Bell making is an ancient Indian craft with enchanting origins. Traditionally used by farmers to identify their livestock, each bell is hand-tuned to produce a distinctive chime. Made from recycled metal, artisans from the desert Kutch region hand shape bells and coat them in powdered brass and copper before firing. Each rustic bell is then tuned to reveal a rich, unique sound like no other bell. Discover more designs, meet the artisans, see the impact. Well, I'm sure you guys are curious how this sounds. I hope it sounds okay over the speakers and it doesn't like overtone it. So let me shake it up a bit. It's such a nice light tingling noise. It's super pretty. I love it. It's so cute. The little beads on it are nice. It's simplistic, but I think it's going to go really great on the front of my house. I have a gray with like dark brown edged house and the, these colors just kind of go perfect with it. I have a little kitty wind chime too, and so I might put this right next to it. I don't want to get the the cord wet though due to rain, so I might put it a little bit closer inside to the house so that it doesn't get wet and ruined. I really want this to last. It's just so cute and so pretty. And with that, we have reached the end of the box. What was your favorite item? For me personally, I just love this bell. It is just so cute. I love the light tinkling noise. It's so nice and calming. There's just something that when I hear the noise, it just makes me smile. And that's just such a wonderful thing. I love that about it. If there's any other boxes I should be aware of, I'd love to open them and review them and enjoy them with you guys. So link is in the description and have a good rest of your day. Love you guys. Bye.